What's up guys and girls, John Rettinger here and I want to give you a demonstration of voice control for the iPhone 3GS. Apple putting this in the 3GS I see is more of a necessity and less of a luxury. The iPhone 3G and the phone that preceded it, the original iPhone, lacked voice control. So when you were dialing a phone, phone number when you were in the car, you had to unlock your device, go to your phone, look in your contacts or go to your favorites. It was a, quite a few steps to get to your phone all the while you're taking your attention away from the road, regardless of whether you're using a Bluetooth headset or speaker. So Apple putting voice control into this was absolutely fantastic. And one of the cool things about voice control is that you can access it when the phone is locked. So let me give you a demonstration here. Let's say the phone is locked in my pocket or in my hand. I can hold this down and if I have a Bluetooth headset on it'll work as well. Hold down the home button and there it goes and activates. So you can see all the commands that you can say scrolling across. You can see it's a shuffle, call, next track, dial, what group is this song by, play album. And I'll give you a demonstration of some of these features, but I wanted to show you what the interface looked like. So let me go ahead and hit cancel, and I will make a phone call, call my house. So we'll hold down the button, call, home. Calling home. And, and you get that little electronic woman's voice saying call home, and there it goes, it starts calling the house. So let me hang that up. No need to call my house. And let's go back to voice command. So let's say that you've got a whole bunch of playlists on your iPhone that you're using as an iPod and you want to pick a song or a band from there. I'm a big Green Day fan, so let's say I want to play some Green Day. So I've got a Green Day playlist in here. Let's, I'll hold down the home button. Play. Green Day. And there it goes, it starts playing Green Day. Hit the iPod, you can see it's now playing, I'll pause it, playing 21st Century Breakdown. Let's say I don't want to hear the song Know Your Enemy, I want to go to the next song in my playlist. Hold down the home button. Next song. Now? Yes. Yes. I had to get closer to it. So I had turned off the... So let me hold this down again. Next song. And you'll notice that while I was... Let me pause it that when I held down the button it actually uh, reduced the volume of the music to let me access voice control which is actually very neat. So let me show you some other features. So we'll play again. Shuffle. Shuffle on. And it'll start now shuffling every song which is kinda neat. So let me show you something else. Let's say you hear a song and you want to know who it's by. Who is this song by? Is Jesus nowhere by Green Day. Pretty cool, huh? And there are really just a ton, really are a ton of features that you can access. And you can use the built-in headphones that come with the iPod, or the iPhone rather, to use all these features. It really is very neat and very handy. And Apple took it one step further from just simple dialing. I can say, let's say I want to shut down the iPod here and I want to make a phone call to a number not in my phone book. So hold this down. Dial five 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 five. Calling five 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 five. And it's actually really accurate. The woman's voice that comes over, comes through the speaker, is a little bit low, but it's amazingly accurate with how good this is. So it's quite impressive, and I think overall Apple did a really nice job. This technology is though nothing new, it's been around for quite a while, it's been in Windows mobile phones for years, Blackberries for years. It was nice to see Apple finally catch up with some features that should have been included with the initial iPhone. So hope you enjoyed, this is just a short demonstration of the voice control for the iPhone 3GS. Hope you enjoyed, for exclusive content, be sure to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash I'll see you in the next video, bye bye.